So uh, that's why I come down here to show my support for him. And these other five candidates also. I also want to talk about another election in November. If y'all can get Mr. Lockley and these other candidates in office in McComb, in McComb you're going to set the tone for the election in November. Yes. You will set the tone right here that says, hey, these, our Democratic candidates have a chance. Mm -hmm. You can change the morale in the Democratic Party by doing that. Because in November, you're going to have three good candidates on the ballot. You're going to have two good Senate candidates and you're going to have a U.S. Congressman on the ballot. Plus, we got another congressional seat in North Mississippi. And um, Mr. Jim Madison's running in, in the congressional forum. So you're really going to have, what, that, five total? Mm -hmm. We're going to have five good Democratic candidates on the ballot in November that will be encouraged if y'all can win this seat Tuesday. Now, Mr. Mike Espy is going to be on the ticket plus also in um, November. Mike Espy knows the numbers. I've met with him several times. If you want to send the first African American to Washington since before the Civil War to be your state senator, then you need to vote. Mr. Espy knows he needs 37% of the African American vote to win. That's what it's going to take. All right, so you take, uh, just say you got 100% African American, out of that 100%, he needs 37% to put him in office. That's it. That's all it is. He needs the same numbers that President Obama got in Mississippi, and you will send Mike Espy to the U.S. Senate. When you send him to the U.S. Senate, you're also going to send me to the Congressional Office. I'm going to have an office in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm me and Mike Espy, plus the other Senate candidate, I don't know if it's going to be David Berry or Howard Sherman. Like I said earlier, I don't endorse nobody because I don't get involved in nobody else's race. That's between them. But I, them two, one of them two also will be going to Washington with us. Because Mr. Espy knows that he can get the crossover vote to win. Like he said, he needs 37%. He thinks he can get that other 13 to 15% that he needs to get to 50. And I'm pretty much sure that I can get that other crossover vote. So if you will turn out and vote in November, you gonna have two new senators, and plus you gonna have a, a new congressman going to Washington as Democrats. Now, what will that do for 2019? Now, if we do that, then we for sure are gonna turn the state back blue in November of next year. And you gonna have some good candidates on the ballot in 2019. The Democratic Party, through the years, as we've been slacking, I take full responsibility of it myself. I'm part of the Democratic Party. We've been slacking when it comes to picking good candidates. But you're going to have a slate of good candidates in 2019 that can bring this state back blue the way it should be. So I want to thank y'all for having this event tonight. I want to wish Mr. Lockley and our other um, selectmen the best of luck to you. And like I told you earlier, if you will get out the vote, they will win. That's all it takes is get out the vote to win. Um, we had a, a representative seat over in Simpson County, Smith County. Mr. Bowie got beat. Um, well, he won it by a strong, strong pool. Remember, it was a tight race. He, he, done, he went through the process and won it by a strong pool. And, uh, but if he would have just got three or four more votes, then they would have come with a strong pool. I think Mr. Lockett said, what do you win by four votes in the night? <laughs> so every vote counts, folks. Every vote counts. So uh, please get out and vote. Please encourage all your family and friends to get out and vote. And thank y'all for letting me come tonight. Thank you.